I didn't realize Reddick was drafted that high. He was he had Temple, right? Damn, I didn't realize it. That's a that's a pretty big 14th overall. That's a huge pick. Has he has he has he has he lived up to it? Yeah. Double digit sacks, yes. Yeah, Temple made, baby. <laughs> Yeah, that Rutgers Temple game, man. I'll be looking forward to it this year. <laughs> oh man, hey, I, hey it, it's all good, Tone. I'm, you know, <laughs> hey, Tone, that Rutgers Temple game, man. What do you guys think of that thing? <laughs> you see, hey, Tone's talking to me about Temple. That Temple Rutgers game, baby. Yeah. <laughs> What, what what's what's like the trophy like you get for the Temple Rutgers game? Must be a shish kebab. <laughs> and then, hey, before I bring Cobb in, I mean Jesus, he played for he played against Notre Dame and UCLA and all them big rivalry games back in the day. I played FSU, my um Florida, oh the Oklahoma games. And you you play for a shish kebab. <laughs> In the Temple Rutgers game. Let's bring in Gary Cobb from Fox 29. It must be quite a game every year. They're in the uh, Philly area there watching that Rutgers Temple game. I guess I guess that goes along with the softball game, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, I, I, I want I want to I want to ask you right out of the gate here with, with Nick Sirianni here. Nick Sirianni says that he's got a really talented running back field. And he's got a really – is that coach talk right now, Gary, with what he's saying? Because if you notice, the two things he, he's hit on is Quez Watkins in his running back room. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, some of that is, you know, politics. You know, he's just talking because those guys got to stay healthy. I mean, they do have talent, but, you know, two of them have such an injury history that that's the number one thing going in that, you know, if there's a concern – now they do have talent there, um, and and they got a number of guys uh, that can pitch in, and um, so you know I, I mean it looks good, but if those guys are banged up and they have had a history of getting banged up, you can't. I mean, what good do you do if you got guys banged up all the time? They're hitting, they're they're not playing. So uh, I think they do have a good collection. Uh, I'm looking at the talent, you know. Uh, you got, you got a couple guys, you know, uh, they got some guys that are big physical runners. They got, you know, a guy like Swift who's uh, quick and, you know, can get can find daylight and that sort of thing. And then they got some guys coming out of the backfield. So they do have the potential. But if you got a running back, they can't stay healthy, man. Because, come on, if you're running back, guess what? You're going to get hit. <laughs> you got that ball. You're going to get hit. So, those guys have got to stay healthy. And, you know, I, I like the way they look out there, but it, it means nothing if they're not available. And, and that's a big thing uh, for a running back. And, and that's really uh, the reason, you know, when you think about why they got them, they were able to get them is because they haven't stayed healthy. A running back that can't stay healthy is can be a major problem. I mean, that's the thing going in. That's the thing that I'm concerned about is can these guys stay healthy? Gary, uh, Miles Sanders, didn't go knee deep in, but he said that he was disappointed, and I'm paraphrasing here, in the way that the Eagle coaches used him in the Super Bowl and said that they didn't they didn't really put him in a position to win. Your takeaway from that there that well, you know, I, I could understand him, you know, but uh, you know, I'm I'm trying to remember what happened in that first play because the first play, I think he tried to take it outside or something. You know, which is this thing, and you know, and in a Super Bowl game. Like that, you know, and, and I know during the season, they took him out a number of times. Hey, dude, there's yardage up there. Get that yardage. We're not asking you to get uh, 10 yards when they blocked for five, okay? But we're telling you, get the five, you know? And he's always, you know, he's had that, um, you know, the habit of trying to take things outside when it's not there. When you could have taken it up inside and got us four yards, you're trying to take it outside to get, you know, some log one. This is, hey, look, this is NFL. You're not going to be able to take it outside. There are going to be five guys out there because these guys can run. And so that's why at that point, 
you know, it's 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 it's, um, it's something that they had going into a lot of the games where if he does that early, they said, no, we're not we're not having that, you know. And so that's that's what happened during that game. So he has no reason to say anything. How many times they're telling him, look, Miles, get up in there and get what they blocked for. No, you're trying to take it outside. Get the four yards, man. The four yards there. Get it. We're happy with the four yards. Get it. Get that. And, he, you know, that's the thing that's the negative about him. And um, he, it seemed like he was getting away from it. Most of, during the season, he was getting away from it because they, they were on him about it. They would pull him out. And he should have known better. Come on. How many times have they told him, get what's there. And I and he used to get me mad too. Dude. Come on, I don't man. Think he's, I don't think he's a very good vision back. I think he runs the contact. A little bit, he a little bit too much, and he doesn't run well in space. And I think I mean, that's the why thing is, you, you DeAndre got that Swift line. looks like he's going to be a great ad. You know, you got that line, man. These guys are, are, you know, and you should trust in them. Hit the ball, hit the hole where we're supposed to. We called to hit the hole, man. If it's a hole there, get to four yards. And he he just kept. Oh man, he's just so frustrating because he he's got a lot of good qualities because he got good quick feet. Good size, and he can run hard. But if you just concentrate on doing that, man, everybody's happy. Where get what's there, just get what's there. These guys are gonna, you know, you, they're so consistent with being able to block, uh, for, where they will create a hole for you. Get it, man. Don't try to take it outside. You, and, you know, because this NFL, you're not gonna get outside, and you end up losing two yards. Gary, I I had a conversation over the weekend about Jalen. And I want to I want to throw this at you again here, and I think people are making some pretty good points. I, I personally think Miles Sanders is a one year wonder too. Um, he got seven million dollars in Carolina. Okay, how are you so convinced that Hertz is going to continue to be and get better on one year, and that he's not just a one year guy? What is the convincing thing? And being a good guy, Gary, and working hard in the NFL, maybe maybe that's something there's a value to today. But I always was under, and I think maybe it's showing my age here, I thought that was a given when you made the NFL. Working hard, being talented, congratulations. That's why you get drafted in the NFL and you play. But what, what do you see where you go? No, 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 no. He's not going to be Wentz, and he's going to continue to get better. What what what's that one thing then? Well, the big thing I think that they have seen and I have seen is the kid has gotten better in consecutive years. You know, okay. he's gotten better. So that's the thing you like, and the fact that he did that from hard work. He didn't do it just by you know, you know, he we worked on the throws that he was having. You know, and have problems sometimes putting some air under the ball, throwing the Gary, ball. Gary, Gary, let time. me stop you there for a second because yeah. I think yeah. you hit on it. I yeah. think you really did. Because that's what Dak got paid on when he got drafted in the fourth or fifth round, whatever it was, yeah. and showed that massive improvement. Yep. So you're saying that that 255 came from that first year starting to what he did by the end of the Super Bowl. Yeah, they paid for that entire gap. They did. I mean, okay, you, you, you've had you've had two years, and you've seen drastic improvement in each year. You know, he's gotten better each year, and and the thing about it is. You know, one of the key things with quarterback is you got to be able to see the field. And he's shown that he can do that because, you know, uh, you know, you have basically two things, really. It's being able to see the field and being able to get the ball there. Those are the two things that really are the key to play a quarterback. Now, he adds things because he can run and all that. OK, but that's just gravy because you can't do those other two things. Just being able to run. That's not that's not enough. You know, so he showed, though, that he can see the field where you, you, you're you not throwing interceptions. You're taking care of the ball. You know, some guys, you just can't teach that. You cannot teach a guy either. He can see that field, you know, and he's been shown that he's gotten better and better at. It. So that's why when you, you're you doing a good job when it's decision making. And that's what he's really shown that he's got I, 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 I the ability that, to thanks. make that decision. And, you know, you got to make it quickly, but you got to be right. And you got to take care of the ball. He's shown that he can do that. And one of the things, you know, uh, like I said, you know, guys work on being able to see and read the read the um, the defense and everything and know where they're going with the ball. 
But some of that is either, I mean, some things are just, you know, either you have it or you don't, you know, like um, in other sports, you know, one guy can shoot in basketball. Another guy can't shoot, just can't shoot, you know, uh, he just whatever it is. He works on his shooting, but he's just not, you know, uh, a shooter. Or, you know, you look in baseball where, you know, one guy can hit for average, you know, he's and, and, and some things, you know, just are not. You know, you just either you have it, you show you got it. And I think that they saw it and they're very confident that he does have that. And and you got coaches that co-signed, you know, giving him that money because they've seen other quarterbacks and, and and it looks like, you know, he has it. He can see the field. He will know where to go with the ball. He's going to take care of the ball. And that those those are things you just cannot. Um, you you got to have that quality. Who has a better season? This year, AJ Brown or Devontae Smith? Um, that's that's really tough to say. Um, because you know they're on the same team. Um, I you know from 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 what I've heard, you know I think it's going to be AJ Brown because they say, uh, you know Devontae already had these qualities of running great routes. He he runs great routes. AJ is running better routes because he's watching him. He's learning and uh, and and huh. and, uh, and he's becoming a better route runner because he's looking at Devontae and he's becoming a better route runner. And uh, AJ Brown is a specimen. Okay, <laughs> you know, uh, and he's dude, only twenty five. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm standing there looking at him, dude. You are not a wide receiver. <laughs> you are too big and too strong to be a wide receiver. Now, when he when he when he gets to the point where he really learns how to u- utilize that more and more and more, there's no way uh, one you could put him one on one. He could just throw a guy out of the way. I mean, most of the DBs in the league, he just throw him out of the way. How can they come up and try? They got to just play off him. They cannot walk up on him because he is too big and too strong. He is um, the dude could be playing linebacker. Okay, he's that big and that strong. Um, Shit, he looks as big as um, Hassan Reddick. Yeah, he he is, he is, and and he you know like I said he's he's just uh he's you going like there's no way that's a wide receiver, and so as he learns how to utilize his size and strength, and as I said he's running better routes, um, and more precise and everything, uh, because he didn't have to before you know because and a lot of times when he's the number one receiver in Tennessee. He basically just get open a lot of times because they're just looking to him, you know. So now uh, with uh, Devontae, you know, you got other guys that, that, you know, are quality receivers that they're going to throw the ball to. Uh, So you have got to be able to run a precise route. And uh, I think uh, AJ is getting better and better. Okay. So what a couple less questions here for you. What, what do we do with Quez Drofsky? Um, I mean, do you, you you know what though, Gary? It does seem to me that they want the kid to win the job. I mean, they, they want do. him. He's they got want talent him in the building. He's got talent. I mean, he's got special talent for getting deep. You know, uh, so what that does is all he's got to do is catch a few balls every few games, and everything's open because then they got to go. We got to watch this kid, Quez Walker, because he can <laughs> outrun everybody. OK, because he's really their fastest player. You know, all the guys say he's the fastest player on the team. And you see, he just runs away from people. So you always got that risk there. And see, it, it, it's a great setup because he's always there. So that means you always really got a gun aimed at the defense. If they blink the wrong way, they're going to they're done. They, you know, if they get in a foot race, oh, that's six. And all they got to do is do that every few games. Then all the other guys, then they, then they really got to, you know, they got a tough time dealing with those other guys, see, because they got to keep people deep. They can't have anybody cheating up or anything. And there's no way you can cover all the other guys uh, unless, you know, you're getting help from the uh, safeties and everything. And with him keeping them deep, the rest of the guys are able to operate underneath that. And it's a great combination. So if as long as he you know, catches a deep ball every few games. Those safeties are going, look, they'll tell the DB, look, you are on your own. 
I cannot come up and help you. You got no help, you know, except for the deep ball, uh, intermediate uh, route. I can't help you because this, this this kid, uh, Quez Watkins, is a burner, and I can't get in a foot race with him and get beat deep. Or they're going to end up sitting me down because they, t- you know, and the safeties will tell you, come on, they're going to get, look, you are on your own. I've had the safeties come tell us as <laughs> linebackers. You're on your own, man. Such and such is out there. We cannot be helping on a tight end or anything. Man, this guy here, we can't get in a foot race with him. And see, that's what Watkins provides. But he's got to catch the ball. Got to have that confidence. And if he catches a deep ball, like every few games, because the guys look at the tape. Keeps them honest. Keeps everybody honest. It's just like a, a good pitcher. If he got that smoker, boy. Yeah. He throws Keep that. you off the plate. Yeah, you know, you really can't ever dig in because he, he can throw the ball by you. If you're a baseball guy, Gary, you don't you, he, you always want to have a pitcher out there on the hill that has the pucker factor that can put that high and tight inside on you. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm hey, telling you. our friend Artie DeFilippis, uh, somebody like that, right? Yeah, Somebody that's right. like Big Artie. Hey, that's finally right. here. Yeah. Um, would, would how we be interested in someone like this? Marcus Peters is a free agent. He's 30 years old. He's two years younger than um, Darius Slay. You bring him in for depth. You could possibly put him in on the slot. You got some young players back there. They're a little and, – and think of this too, Gary. If you lose Bradbury or you lose Slay, you have no depth level whatsoever yeah. mm-hmm. at those positions. You see, this year – experience and depth is not what they have this year compared to what they had this year. Correct. You think Howie, as we get closer to the training camp and the start of the season, it's all going to be about finding that depth that he had last year because, you know, they, they did get hit in the depth level this year. Yeah. Uh, there and at the linebacker position. Um, so uh, I do think that, uh, you know, Howie's going to play it where, you know, uh, a guy sitting out there, you know, the longer he sits out there, the lower his price goes, you know. Yeah. He can't come in there talking a lot. So uh, it depends on when you sign the guy and if, how much you can get him for. And so he's got, you know, he's only got but so much money to deal with, even though Howie somehow. He's got $13 million right now. Yeah. So, you know, so that's going to be um, a matter of if he finds somebody, you know, if he, if he finds a taker. Um, you know, the, the agent for him, uh, for Peters will be, um, matter of seeing who comes, who comes to him with some serious money. Absolutely. I, Gary, as long as he's out there, friend. the Eagles chances. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. All right. Hey, have a good one. You got it. Our good All friend, right. Gary Cobb. Don't forget to check him out. He put some great stuff out there also on Twitter, go to his Twitter page and also Fox 29. By the way, I saw someone say that Temple beat Miami in 1930. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Those are the kind of games you used to go to your game on a horse, right? Back in the 30s? Is that how you got the football games? On a horse. You you, you put your horse right there on the trough. <laughs> right there on the trough. Hey, yeah, now listen, I love I love Quez Dropkins. I like Quez Dropkins. I think he's a good football player. Hit the timeout. Hit the like button, I mean. We're going to take a timeout. Keep it here on the National Football Show.